Right. Hello, Mr. Nilen here. Welcome to Gladiator Begins. So I've installed. <coughs> I've uh, loaded up a save file that had uh, completed the game once. We have all the hidden content uh, unlocked using this save. So when you have uh, finished day 40 in the game, or if you load a save uh, that has finished day 40, then you can get the option to start from scratch. And uh, unlike when you start the game for the first time, <coughs> you get a lot of new skins. Also I've installed some uh, mods for the game too. <coughs> So in this game you can have mods, there, there is like DLC content, downloadable content that used to be buyable on the PlayStation Network, on the PSP, and uh, <coughs> on, on the PlayStation 3 as well. And uh, um, the DLC from the official developers can still be uh, acquired. If, if, um, through a computer from the internet, Th there are people that have made backups of the DLC, and then uh, <coughs> I believe uh, the way DLC works is that you, uh, with the emulator, is that you place the DLC in a folder. I believe <coughs> in uh, the P in the PPSSPP folder. PPSSPP is the emulator's name, and then inside of that folder you have a game folder, and inside of that folder. You have the games folder, I believe for this game it's uh, ULUS U L U S one hundred five twenty eight and inside of that folder you have the DLC folders, for example DLC <coughs> and uh, then there is like a space, um not really a space but you know that uh, usually when when uh, names are combined you have uh, like uh, something in between the names okay so you, so you have like DLC and then you have uh, the name of the DLC and uh, it should go in inside of PPSSPP slash game slash ULUS or ULUS 10528 which is the this game and then inside of that folder you have the DLC <coughs> and uh, the mods work exactly like DLC so as far as I uh, uh, know you can have uh, uh, unlimited numbers of new new characters in this game through DLC but there are not that many mods I believe there is a guy <coughs> that is uh, currently working on a mod which will add a bunch of new characters, but I found at least five new characters and uh, a few of them uh, fit the game very well, I believe two of them fit the game then there are three like uh, extra characters that do not really fit this setting <coughs> yeah, I, I would like to have uh, characters from Xena, Warrior Princess uh, preferably Xena herself and uh, Callisto uh, I believe only Xena is uh, easy to, to, to get the model of unless you can somehow rip the models from the Nintendo 64 game because the models in that game are pretty good and they were of great quality for a Nintendo 64 game if you use the I believe uh, Project 64 emulator and uh, increase the graphics you can see that the graphics are not that bad and uh, they would fit in this game uh, that game, I believe, Xena, uh, the Talisman of Fate, <coughs> has like all the characters you would want, but uh, I couldn't find any ripped models, so the the game is not that popular. I played it on, uh, I believe, my YouTube channel, Mr. Niren 2, <coughs> recently, I believe a few months back. Um, and uh, the Callisto model there is really good, but anyway, and the Xena model, and, and some of the other characters like Yoxer, Velasca, <coughs> Gabriel, then, then there are a few that weren't very good, like the Chinese woman and, uh, and the Caesar, they look kind of meh, 
then we have Ares and some others too, but <coughs> yeah, seeing herself and list would be nice. Uh, so one of the modes in this game is a Wonder Woman mod. It lets you play as Wonder Woman. And she looks very much like Sina. She has the same hair color and the same hairstyle. Her, her uh, clothes are pretty much similar. Uh, and uh, the main difference is the colors and uh, the weapons. <coughs> so it could be easy to, I believe, uh, for a modeler to change the Wonder Woman model into a Sina model, maybe. Anyway, we'll take a look at all the characters. We have the standard male. We can change the faces, the hair, styles, and the skin colors, of course. The muscular male. The standard female. And uh, the muscular female. And these are the uh, ones we have from the start. Then the Beast Woman is DLC, downloadable content. It was an official DLC character available from the start of the game if you have the DLC. Same with the Vivid Beast Woman. And uh, John Wick here is the first modded character. I believe he's a character from the game. Uh, I believe. Uh, uh, so I just forgot the name, but uh, that game. Uh, takes um, place in the future like in a utopian fu dystopian future I can't remember the name but uh, he's probably the main character he's based on uh, um, I believe uh, the same guy that played uh, Neo in Matrix I believe Keanu Reeves you can clearly see it's Keanu Reeves face but the character's name is John Wick is the main character in one of, uh, in a great RPG set in a dystopian future that I forgot the name of just because I wanted to say the name now. I usually I forget names uh, or words. Um, anyway, uh, we have uh, Rocky, played by Sylvester Stallone, the old 80s boxer movie. You can play as jo uh, Rocky Balboa here. So John Wick and Rocky, they are extra modded characters. So they can add an unlimited number of characters to this game through DLC. They are added like any official DLC with their own folder and the same files inside. And they don't replace any character. But uh, in order to add models like this, um, I believe a modeler will need to rig the models for the game and such. So it's still some work required. Uh, but if if they know how to work with models, it's possible to add any model to this game. So we have John Wick and we have Rocky Balboa. And then we have this manga character. I read up on her. Ella, she was a character from a manga. <coughs> I thought she was an anime character. But the manga doesn't seem to have a anime yet, but manga, that's the comic book version of an anime. She is a Japanese manga character. And then we have Kratos, he's a modded character. Fuck, the, the game might have... Fuck this stuff. So I don't think that the recording was interrupted, but sometimes the game can can crash when we use a modded character. So we loaded Cassius here on day 40. And then we got this option. You want to repeat this plain and endless days? Yes. So when you finish the game after turn uh, day 40, I mean, you get to replay everything with the normal. And uh, he played with a character named Cassius that looked like this. Roman character. We change the origins. Greece. Then we can change character. So we have all of these characters unlocked. We have uh, Primus Palace, Corpulent, fat character. Same character with different gear. Secundus, Secundus Paulus. 
this was Primus Paulus, Tertius Paulus, so we have different versions of Paulus. I believe Tertius is the basic one, the slave one. Secundus is when he is a little bit more evolved, and Primus is the most evolved one. Then we have a Tin Gladiator. So all of these characters are in the main game. You just need to beat the game, then you can use them if you start over again with, with that uh, ga uh, game save. There you beat the game. We have a Tin Gladiator. We have Memnon. I believe uh, the Tin Gladiator can also change uh, face and everything. Okay. Memnon, unique character. You need to beat the game on the hardest difficulty, despair, the despair difficulty to get this guy. And we have a legionnaire. We have an assassin. <coughs> we have an instructor. You can place the instructor in this game. We have Gothic infantry, barbarian infantry, African officer. You can change the skin color to black. African Infantry Sicilian Officer the Armor and the Sicilian Infantry the Armor Gaulian Officer and play as Gaulish the Officers and the Gaulish Infantry Barbarians We have the Egyptian Officer the Pretty cool Armor Egyptian Infantry Roman Chariot, Poor Chariot, pretty good cool armor, Roman Infantry, not the most impressive armor, we have Caster, we have uh, Vipsanius, so we can get like all the characters in the game as playable, and uh, Milosius, and Theodius. Uh, and the uh, Generidus, Cassius, the guy that was played by the creator of the save. We have Caesar's guard, so I downloaded this save from a Discord server. Cassius' guard, they look pretty cool. The Commodus, Bernardos, Officer Gilelemos, the same guy that we faced and lost against with the other character Lamos as he looked when we faced him and this is how he looked uh, when we spoke to him this is how he looks in the arena with Danaeus another guy and uh, Sladius Sextus Bartui Medela, really good looking character. When I loaded this character in multiplayer, she had really cool weapons and a helmet and such. So she has unique gear. But when we play as her, we lose the, wep the weapons, the helmet, and any extra gear. She looked really cool when, we f uh, when I fought her in the multiplayer. And it's possible to get her gear in single player too. You just need to buy the gear. It can be a little bit troublesome to know um, what gear is hers, but yeah, she's a good looking uh, female character that can be fought in the game, and played as after you have finished the game once. We have Spiculus, a black character, and we have Nemesis. Seems to be a female, not a very attractive one. Ursus, Horus, we have Alba, I think she's a Gaulish girl from Gaul or something, looked alright, looked interesting with a unique hairstyle, we have Flamma, fat guy, we have Diana of Temiskira. Diana of Temiskira 
Okay, so Wonder Woman, pretty much. I mean, as you can see from from the back, she could as well have been Cena, the warrior princess, and her armor and such uh, looks very similar to Cena. Yeah. Just the colors are different, and the weapons and her face, just the actor's face. I believe there was a guy that requested this character, the model of the actor, and uh, she was made. So I requested um, Cena, the warrior princess, or Callisto from the sh from the same show. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I have no idea if, if he takes requests. But even if he does, it might be difficult to get models for them unless they can rip the models from the Nintendo 64 game. Cena, the Talisman of Fate, because you can get like at least uh, 13. Uh, different characters there, and some of them were really good. For such an old game, if if uh, list was imported from that game, she would certainly look good enough for this game. But it would still look worse than this model, of course. But um, not much worse. I think with the enhanced resolution, she would still look pretty good. As for ex if ex uh, as for seeing herself. I believe there are fan-made models on the internet. Then we have the T-800 Terminator, another modded character. So Wonder Woman and T-800 are modded characters. Just like um, <coughs> that guy, John Wick, and and the other guy, uh, Rocky. Then we have Venus. I believe she was in the poster of this game. A Japanese poster. So she can play this. She was from the official DLC, the Samurai Gladiator 2, the official DLC, and the Robot Gladiator. And we have Kratos, another modded character. So I said there were two modded characters that fit the game, and that's Kratos, of course, from the God of War series. I never played those games because I'm not into action games for most uh, most of the time. I I like RPGs. Uh, but not really action. Uh, this game is a mix between action and, and RPG, so it's fine. And we have uh, Ella, this manga character. We have Rocky Balboa. And we have uh, John Wick. But the game fucked itself again. I believe uh, sometimes uh, it game looks when you have the mouse on these custom characters. They work well when you place them. But in the selection screen, for some reason, it this happens sometimes. Okay, we'll start to lower. Load game save. We load this one. Change this to Greece. Change the name. We'll place Diana. Okay, we'll change the model, of course. Right, so this is Diana of Temiscira. Wonder Woman. We'll pick her and uh, we'll take a lot on strength. Right, we'll try this custom character. Creating gladiator from Greece called Diana. Proceed, yes. She has custom weapons and such too that are, they are really good. They take a lot of space. So we need more, I believe, uh, weight in order to carry everything. Okay, so item box. I believe I'm using uh, mo money sheet as well. So that we can buy everything. Let's 
go to the world map. Yes, go to the world. <clears throat> I am Megarius. This Ludus is mine. The gladiators that train here are mine. I am the Lannister who has purchased each and every one of you. As you can see, my loot is empty. I lost many gladiators in the last game. I have decided to begin anew. Do you understand why you are here? Because you are here, slave traders have pockets that click with coin. My coin. Do you understand? That money was not easily earned, nor was it easily spent. And by the way, the, the mod is made by a guy um, called Gans something, I believe, on the Discord. And I found the Discord by chance through a video on YouTube uh, that showed off uh, Kratos in this game. They searched for Gladiator Begins, the name of the game, and mods. So Gladiator Begins mods. Found a video with Kratos, and uh, the user behind that video had a link to a Discord under the video where I found the other modded content and the uh, files for the saved games. So, so I downloaded a bunch of saved games in, in a part of the Discord called uh, um, Gladiator Exchange, and then I got the modded files from the mods and hacks section. Okay. Uh, so, Magiri says, I care not that you are not gladiators, not yet. I shall work you until you cuff blood. Should you earn money, uh, should you earn me money enough to cover what you cost, and are yet alive, then you are born to be a gladiator. Warriors blessed by the gods can sometimes earn a better place in society, and, and perhaps even their freedom, should home, uh, Rome's ruling class deem them worthy. Whether or not such good fortune will befall you is your choice. Good. Now, let the gladiatorial games begin. We leave for the Voluptas Arena. Hurry! Into the carriage. Glory to Campania. Voluptas Arena. Okay, Megiri says, Today's event is known as the Glory of Campania. It is hosted by a man known as Pomponius. Pomponius is a senator with an excellent reputation. He often becomes excited during gladiatorial games. A great number of gladiators have found a willing patron in Pomponius after he noticed them in the arena. Make sure to listen to his every word with care. Pomponius says, I welcome you, gladiators. Gladiator, if the gladiator, if the gladiator is not a symbol of the glory and power of Rome, then what is? The strong have gathered here from throughout the vast territories of Rome. These battles bring virtue to Rome and to our citizens. Even the satirical poet Livenalis was entranced by the games, but of course this is only natural. <coughs> after all, these games born with the power of glory of humanity sorry, after all, these games brim with the power of glory and humanity of humanity. Hum humanity I wish to see in its most exalted state in the glory of Campania. Pray there is a gladiator among you worthy of my attention. May Mars be with you. Now let me see an excellent game. Okay. Items will go to the armor. And purchase new items. Sword of a tea, nice her sword will get that. And the Amazonian wheel will get that too. I don't believe she had a helmet or anything else. Okay, we'll go to the item box. I will keep this stuff. We do not have uh, enough. Uh, wait for those things, but we'll still try to fight with it. We'll go to the team battle. Participate in this show. Yes. Girius, a moment. Your task in this event shall pit you against the gladiator who has won many games before this one. Should you survive, you shall receive a worth reward. But fight with care. You shall have an ally in the ring with you. Now, breathe deep and remember what your trainer has taught you. May Mars himself guide your blade. There are no tutorials 
in, in the, the new game and you have finished it already once. We have no training with the, uh, the guy that trains. So we have different characters fighting in this scene. They look different than I played yesterday with a different character. They are uh, different. Nice. Gal Gadot. The name of the actor of Wonder Woman. I already played with this model a little bit without recording. Uh, I named the model Sina, but I didn't think it fit the video, so I decided to start her all over again with the proper name of Diana. She looks similar to Sina, but we, uh, we can clearly see that she is the Wonder Woman here. So uh, I decided to remake her with the proper name. So the sword of Wonder Woman is really powerful, takes a lot of damage and she has a good defense too with the shield. There is a bug that uh, makes the shield uh, like she, she the shield is removed after each fight and they have to re-add it all the time. Somewhat accurate attacks, very quick and accurate. Okay. We'll get some items here. Okay, Megirius says, I see you survived. Perhaps you were not a waste of my money after all. Haven't done any more work for you today. There's little you can do now. Once you've advanced a little, there will be more available to you. You are a veteran now, and thus Quartus Palace. As you increase in rank, you'll find more coin in your pocket as well. Now survive many more games and uh, fill my pockets too. We get some experience and money. Day 2. Okay, we'll go to status. Area and reinforce abilities. And we will select the weight area, item, box, and uh, we still lack one, okay, we'll go to the world map, smile of Bellona. Here, here we are, today an event known as the smile of Bellona is being held. The Drusus family is hosting the event, and Lady Aquila Aquilia will be leading the opening ceremony. She comes from a family of generals, you know. You do well to get yourself noticed. Sure to listen carefully. Mm. Greetings all, I welcome you to the Smile of Bologna. My father, General Drusus, has held this event for many years in celebration of my birth. Seek to better yourself in the arena. A gladiator who pro proves to be truly strong may be given the honor of serving the Rusus family. <coughs> Megirius says she may be somewhat temperamental, uh, but they say she is quite generous to gladiators who, to, uh, who can uh, who catch her fancy. Show her what you're made of. We need to equip the shield again, otherwise it won't be in the battle. Need to do this before every battle. I will go to the survival. Fight. Her sword is really powerful. Same with her shield. So it's easier to play with this character than to play with a vanilla character. You can call the mod a Wonder Woman mod. So in survival we're supposed to kill enemies while surviving and they will come in waves and it's on a timer it 
This didn't go well. I did quite well in uh, when I played earlier. This did go really poorly uh, against those three. is overpowered. Attacks not that great at dodging, consistently strong. Yeah, but it went really poorly like there. We'll recoup the shield. everyone that. Here we come. Even more enemies. It's on a timer. We should kill as many as possible before the timer is out. Duels when we fight one versus one are the fun battles. I don't really like the timed battles. Kill chain 2, accurate attacks, overwhelmingly strong. Okay. Pick the best stuff. No more games right now. Heal the wounds. You almost didn't get hurt there. Good. Turn to stable. Not bad at not a bad battle at all. Messenger from the Drusus family has come to see you. So this woman is the one who's we so recently saw in the arena. I am Publius. I will come at the behest of the the daughter of General Drusus. She commands your valor and wish it to bestow upon you a gift. We got 3000 money, okay. But they already have it unlimited. The Druses are a family of soldiers and honorable to, uh, to a man. They will honor even gladiators. They prove themselves to be brave warriors. Pit your life against others in the arena and provide an excellent performance. Pray we shall meet again. Farewell. Well, I don't have unlimited, but it had like the maximum. But it will uh, go down if I buy stuff. Okay, day three. Could, of course, restart without the money sheet. But that would mean that um, I can't heal unlimited. Am 
amount of time and also that uh, th then I might not get the, the gear immediately. So status, reinforce, will increase vitality. Exactly what we need. Let's go to the world map. Providence of Strinia. He arrived. The Lannister here is a man known as Brosius. Brosius is quite a man. He was once a gladiator and slave himself, but he bought his freedom and now has many patrons enough to hold his own event. He's an interesting man. Perhaps I shall introduce you later. For now, fight well and catch his eye. As a former gladiator, he is adept at ident identifying skilled fighters. Prepare yourself. Alright, I will need to go here and equip this shield again. And now participate in the battle royale. Everyone versus everyone. Greatest kill chain 2, some of the great attacks. We have three, two more tries. Good. It is armed, man. Unless I didn't have the shield, I don't know, but I think I did. We don't need a shield. This sword is very powerful. seconds remaining. I 
Greatest hit chain 6, greatest kill chain 2, accurate attacks unable to dodge it all. Alright. again status can't keep anything more right now okay we're done here 300 is stable you defeated my gladiator quite suddenly oh do not mis be mistaken I hold no grudge against you had my gladiator not fattened up on Burley, then perhaps, at any rate, it seems you have some degree of courage. Ah, me, I am Brosius, the Lannister here, and a free man. Once I was a gladiator, like you. Now, after winning many prizes and any and earning much renown, I am rich, powerful, and free. <coughs> you do not have the look of a woman who will spend her life in slavery either. Perhaps you would be well served to remember my name. Farewell. So that was Brosius. Gary says, Ah, Diana, about Brosius. You have met him already. Is that so? He does not waste time then. I suppose it has always been so. He's a powerful man with an excellent eye for gladiators. If he talks, if he takes a liking to you, he will benefit. Farewell. Let us depart. Day four. Okay. Four AP. Increased our stamina. I can go to the world map. Whisper of Egeria. <coughs> Today's event shall be the Whisper of Egeria. It is hosted by the financial commissioner Vipsanius. Vipsanius, however, is rarely in Rome and leaves the managing of his affairs. This event included to his wife, Madame. Um, Elisaveta. Elisaveta is rarely seen in public, however, so I know little about her. Of course, that matters little to you. The proprietor of an event is of little concern to a gladiator. You need only do what a gladiator does best now to the arena. You need to keep the shield. For some reason, it's always uh, unequipped. Okay, we have more health this time. 128, let's participate in a survival battle. We'll f play until the, the, the uh, guy that was difficult to defeat previously. The, the gladiator fight. It will be easier with Wonder Woman. She has a very powerful sword. Ah, if I cut uh, at the legs, they die very easily. They have no defense there. Fuck you. Good. Kill another one. We need to avoid attacks at, at, at the right moment, which is a bit difficult. But, but sometimes I succeed, sometimes I don't. Nice. 
five seconds remaining, but it didn't go too well. Let's use the first group of enemies. Try to avoid the attack, but it's very difficult when he raises the hand and he managed to always click too soon. Just die, he wasted my time. Disarmed. That's not my shield, I need a different shield. I don't know where it is. Seems I can attack my ally too. Ladies here to see you. We are one to judge. We are one to judge by appearances. She seems to be of high birth. <coughs> seems she wishes to ask a favor of you. How did you possibly become acquainted with such a woman? No matter. Her manner says she is an aristocrat. So you would do well to behave yourself. <coughs> you are Diana. I observed your fight in yesterday's event. In person you seem far stronger. I approve. There is a task I wish for you to complete. Do as I ask, and I shall bestow upon you a reward befitting of your service. First, however, I must determine whether or not you are deserving of my trust. You are familiar with the Whisper of Igeria, I assume. It is the event hosted by Vipsanius by Vipsanius, in which you participated yesterday. I shall prepare you a special match in that event you are to kill your opponent. It matters not if your opponent should yield. This is what I wish to see, not mercy. If you are reprimanded for doing so, do not say you did so by my request. Do you understand? I see that you do. Farewell then. I look forward to our next meeting. Okay, we will reinforce. We'll add uh, endurance. Reinforce. We can pick any skill here. Take the leg slicer. The 
push a double dash instead. Claw and double hammer. We'll level up this stuff. So we get to place it on maximum here. Okay. World map again. Diana, you'll be entered in a celebratory game for gladiators who have advanced to the Thirtius Palace. So now it's the, the battle that we fail to win with the other character. It's meant to be a celebration, yes, but, but these will be gladiators from other Lannister there as well. But there will be gladiators from other Lannister there as well. <coughs> Some fools will, no doubt, lose their lives, but I need you to fill my pockets with coin. Okay, so we are in the middle of the night, Swedish time. I'm a bit tired, I need to go and eat too soon. Um, like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, eat like uh, late. Uh, it's like breakfast, but uh, in the evening. Okay, we will st um, continue. Word of Quirinius. Okay, we'll go to item box. Because we need a shield. The Amazonian shield. And then we'll go to participate. And the uh, promotion test. <coughs> For one promotion test, we introduce you to the to new to <coughs> Excuse me. We introduce you to you now, gladiators who have reached the level of Tertius Palace. Through sand and blood, they crawled to be here before you. Let us give them a warm welcome. This game is very much uh, inspired by Spartacus, the TV show. Blood and Sand. Taken straight from that show. Uh, what is this? They expect a woman to challenge me? You take issue with my presence? Ember himself is in the audience. I had prepared myself for the worst. Now I can scarcely bring myself to care. You, I will gain no enjoyment from this fight should it end too soon. I shall not put uh, my full strength behind my blade. Our emperor is watching. See that you take. Uh, see that you make this battle one that remains in his memory. Okay. Citizens of Rome are gathered here to to together this day. The, uh, the novici are countless. There were Tertius Palace Diana, a mysterious gladiator, and uh, the rising star Gulamus, uh, hopeful novici. Glorious feats from Shelley this day. Let us watch. Fuck you. Good. Fuck you. Good. Is this armed? You have a really good sword. So you're fighting this Wonder Woman. She's a bit OP, even at low level. This is too much, not a great dodging, simply disappointing. Yeah. yeah I did way better than I played previously. But we don't need to be good with this character. She's OP. No new shows. Heal and uh, can return to stable. The 
Array 6. And uh, item box. We'll do this again. And we could save the character here. A new slot. Okay. So uh, we will return to the title screen. Go to the battle arena. Exhibition mode. With Diana. We will not place her. Load Callisto. And then we can load the characters that we just played as. We'll probably be defeated easily because she's OP. Let's try this. Ah, that's not the character I thought it was. <coughs> She's Levon, this battle. Something went wrong. I wanted to be a different one, but I didn't select the character I see. Okay, we'll play Callisto versus <coughs> that other character. So this was the character I created yesterday. She's very underpowered compared to Diana or Wonder Woman. But I know now how to play with her. But I will still lose. When we have, if, uh, uh, like, uh, when we use the feast or hands in battle, we should just spam square and circle. Actually, I will change the character. We'll play as Diana and fight against. the Xena version of her that I played previously. She has to shield good. We have the other one. She should also have a shield. I don't know why she doesn't. Let's quit. Well, then we'll fight in any way. Wonder Woman versus this character is the same model, just with different gear, same sword. Uh. Remove her shield. gladiators and uh, reached further into the story but I didn't read uh, all the text they were very s simple uh, I just skipped all the text and story and just entered the battles she 
takes a lot of damage. Wonder Woman. And we have better defense because she didn't load her shield. Now she won because because she managed to strike me. Okay, we'll change. We can uh, have a duel, one versus one, battle royale. We have three AI opponents and everyone versus everyone. Survival. Uh, I believe uh, battle royale and survival we play alone against AI. Team battle. Fight together with someone against uh, enemy AI characters and two and two. Is what it sounds like. We can have two more characters. Okay, load Callisto. And Ella, another character I made. It had uh, some cheating going on. Not just money, but some cheating when it came to. Uh, that too, that's why I don't want to place her. But we will uh, fight against my two other characters there. The two Wonder Woman versus the other two, they will probably win easily. Against those two. Other Wonder Woman has already won there. Yeah, she wins easily thanks to her sword. Alright, let's load a different character. Elite Pete. They're still an early level character, so they might win. They are elite characters, but we have a really powerful weapon and shield, but might not be enough to win. They just need... Oh, he has already won against their ally. Now there were two versus one there. Change this character. Diana, she had the shield, that's better. Try again.
Yeah, the East Levin. At least that guy. Okay, we'll change Elite Pete. Cassius. Try two Cassius. He's using his feasts. Might be easier. Okay, then. She bugged out. We need to replay this. If we lose, it uh, returns to this screen. And if the ally loses, we can continue. Fuck you. against their ally. Our stats are not good enough to fight these guys. Even if we take a lot of damage, we do not have a lot of health. So it still managed to get their health down to half. Okay. Mike Tyson will try him. guy Oh, he won easily against our ally Oof. He was even more difficult than that Cassius guy I had a few others uh, downloaded, but they had the same name as other save files. I need to change the name to Adam, so I'll do that. But thank you for watching. I'm a little bit too tired right now to continue. And uh, yeah, uh, that's the Wonder Woman model. Uh, that guy that calls himself Gantz um, made. And he also added the... Uh, the other mods, the Terminator T-800 and the Rocky Balboa character and John Wick with Keanu Reeves, the actor, uh, doing the like looks for the character and uh, then there was like, uh, yeah, probably something I missed. Okay, but uh, Yes, Kratos from God of War as well. Okay, but thank you for watching.